Behind the doors of this renovated farm buildings in Cookham lies a fascinating history. Now home to the John Lewis Partnership Heritage Centre, the buildings are filled with archives and collections charting 150 years of the company's history. Among the 5,000 textile designs that are housed in the archives is a rather special heirloom that could have been lost forever. Um, this design here is one of our classic examples, it's our Titanic design as it's called. This, this, was, this, this, this is the original fabric that was printed for the Titanic staterooms. It's the only surviving piece, obviously, because it didn't go into the Titanic. Um, so that, that's, that's a, a nice sort of heirloom to have. Um, it, you can see it's been, it's been reprinted and uh, full width now, uh, and it, it does retail in the shops today, so you can buy a copy of the original. Other special pieces include dust sheets once used in Windsor Castle and a block-printed chintz which, if viewed closely, reveals another royal connection. The site in Odney Lane has special significance for John Lewis as it was once home to a pottery which produced goods for its department stores during the Second World War. The centre is primarily designed for partners and club members, but it was officially opened to the public this week by partnership chairman Sir Charlie Mayfield. <laughs> the multi-million pound project took a year and a half to build and was the brainchild of Heritage Services Manager Judy Faraday. We chose Cookham because obviously the partnership has been in Cookham since 1926. So it's as if we're coming home, really, not going any further away. Um, we've also got the conference centre here. Uh, but it's a very artistic community in Cookham, and we know that the Cookham people really appreciate having it so close. The centre will be open to the public every Saturday, and plans are already in place to host a number of workshops in 2014. This is Amanda Hall for The Advertiser.